we're in the last step of the process. We have created our content files through the 3D Solids Connection Point to part published content. We have opened it in the catalog editor and imported that into our catalog. Uh, now we want to get that in our parts list. So I'm going to go to Home tab. Um, just want to make sure that my pressure catalog is set correctly. Okay. And I think we did that. We did that in push on. We're good there. Okay. So I'm going to come into my parts list. I'm on the settings tab down here in the pressure network parts list. I'm going to look at the edit this. And for appurtenances, I can add in that hydrant. So if I right click here and add type. I'm going to see that hydrant that we just created. Okay. So it's now available in our, in our database. We just have to add it into our list. Hit OK. We could add a size. I only did the one size. I probably should have changed that, but we're going to hit OK there. Okay. We definitely don't want that to be a gate valve. So we could probably change this to a hydrant. And we're going to have this displayed as the catalog defined block. So this will show up as a hydrant once we uh, get that in there. It's going to read that catalog. Um, okay. Hit OK. Hit OK. Um, fittings. Uh, we could have added some more fittings. I, I do want to add that valve in there. So I'm going to add, whoops, under the 200 PSI. I'm going to add that same, there's that 12 inch valve that I added into it. Okay. A 12 inch duct iron valve. And again, I could change the style. All right, so it's just a quick add it to your parts list. Once we go in here to do our pressure pipe design, I don't need to label anything, I'm just going to take the default. And let's just label this thing that. We'll draw this thing in here. I want to add in uh, a fitting or a pertinence here. I'm going to add a hydrant. Okay. So I can connect to this hydrant now if I wanted to. Find some bends. Oh. I know that's pretty rough, but uh, you get the point. So I could add my pipes in there. I could connect them all in. I could do it correctly. But um, that's just kind of a quick, easy way of, of getting those 3D solids to your catalog and adding those connection points in there. Um, hopefully this helps. If not, let me know.